Hi loves, welcome back to our channel. This is Jerry and for today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my new Apple Pencil Gen 2 as well as a few Apple accessories. Let's get right into it. Now, unfortunately, you guys are gonna hate me for this, but I thought that I filmed um, unboxing this, like taking the plastic and everything off, but I accidentally did not hit film on that. So um, I already took the um, packaging off of it, but I just put the pencil back inside to film this for you guys. So it just had a clear um, covering on it. I pulled that off already. You pull this tab here, and it has this little um, section here for uh, more information and a little like user manual and stuff. And then right in here is the Apple Pencil. This one had a uh, like clear plastic around it and you just, I just pulled the tab and pulled the plastic off. This is my first Apple Pencil, my first iPad. So I'm really excited about um, trying this out and getting to use it. In our last video, I unboxed this new um, Apple iPod, iPad Pro 12.9 inch and I um, showed you guys my case and my accessories and I put a screen protector and all that on there. So for this video, I wanted to show you guys my pencil and the accessories that I got for it. So here's the pencil. It's really cute. Here's the tip. Now I did, when I was looking for accessories for this before I got it, I did see that they have um, replacement tips and that they come in different colors, which I thought was really cute. So I'm probably gonna get a pastel tip for this one when this one wears out. I didn't see, I saw um, unboxings of the first gen, the old model of the pen, and it came with like an extra um, replacement tip, and I didn't see that in here, unless I missed it. Yeah, so I don't think that this um, model, the two, is going to come with an extra replacement tip for free. So right here it's letting you know that it magnetically um, attaches to the iPad Pro to pair, charge, and store. So I thought that was really cool, the um, first generation. I've seen a few times and um, actually my mother-in-law has that one. And that's how I saw the pencil for the first time. And hers, you like pull the cap off the top and it has like a little um, port, uh, port, sorry, like a little... Um, like things sticking out and you charge it that way but I think this one's really cool how they made it that it's like um magnetic charge so it kind of just sticks like that to the top of the iPad magnetically and it charges that way so I think that's really um genius and smart and I would much rather charge it that way so I'm really excited about that but let's go ahead and get into the accessories that I got let's put this aside so I got two different kinds of cases for it. This is a silicone case and this is like a plastic, hard plastic case. So I'll take a look at the silicone one first. And I did get this cover on Amazon and I don't remember exactly how much it was but I will link it below. I know it was only like maybe five or six dollars. And this is the cover for the pencil and these are two um, covers to choose from to put on the top of the pencil. I believe this one's like cat ears and that's why I chose it. And this one kind of looks like fox or something or maybe even like like a dog. Which is really cool like if you're into puppies or dogs or you're a puppy girl. These look really nice like dog ears and these look like kitty ears. So and I really liked that they're like two different tone pinks because it gives it like a duo tone pink on pink type of look. And I think that's really cute. So let's see. I think we just slide it in like this. I think it's really cute. You can still see the Apple Pencil logo there. I like that a lot. I think that's really cute. And like I said, the duotone pink, like I love that. I think that's such a neat um, like color combo. And this is honestly really comfortable. A lot more comfortable than I thought and I feel like it makes it more comfortable like the pen is kind of sleek so with the silicone you kind of get like a nice grip on there so I'm really happy about this yeah I think this is really cool but let's go ahead and take this off and try on the uh, plastic one that I've got Apple pencil case designed for Apple pencil second gen Retractable design, full protection, multifunctional clip. And right here it's telling you how to use it or install. 
twist the cap anti-clockwise to remove it, align the flat part of the Apple Pencil with the inner barrel on the side of the clip, put Apple Pencil to the into the case, twist the clap <laughs> twist the cap clockwise to fix it. You're well done. So let's try that. This one is like um, a full plastic case and it's meant for like people who might feel like this is too thin or uncomfortable. This gives more of a like ballpoint pen feel to it and it also protects your entire pencil. The tip goes inside and that like protects the tip because with this one the tip is not protected. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So it says um, anti-clockwise or counterclockwise I would think, right? Um, that's this way. Alright, and then you're gonna pick the flat side of the pencil. I don't know if you can see here, but there's a flat side. The rest is rounded. And make sure that the flat side is facing the clip like that. Okay, so you pushed that all the way in. I'm gonna get the cap and twist it back on. So now the cap is fully twisted on. You can see how it works now. The tip is sticking out. And then you press that to retract it so that the tip is now protected it's hidden inside of here so you won't damage your tip anyway and it's a really beautiful color i also got this one on amazon i know it was less than ten dollars i'll link it for you guys and i think it's really beautiful and it's like i love the feel of it it's it's not very heavy it's lightweight but it gives like a really nice grip feel to it you just press down here click to get the tip out now the tip is out and then you press on this clip. It said multifunctional because you can one click it to um, retract to the pen, pencil, and then also you can use it as a clip to like clip it onto something. So I think that's really nice. I think I might be using this one, but the only downside to these is that I don't believe the magnet works when it's in this case. I'm gonna try the silicone one though because I don't know about that and I'd rather find that out right now. I just want to show you for those of you who might have been um, a little worried, it didn't scratch or damage my um, pencil at all. I know it's plastic on side, inside, but just so you know, I don't feel like it was damaged at all. I do believe that if you put it in incorrectly, like twisted it or something, it might scratch or damage your pencil. So make sure you, if you do get this, you put the flat side in this way and you shouldn't have a problem. Okay, so I've got the silicone cover and I'm going to see if the um, magnetic charging capabilities work with the um, silicone on there. Alright, so I put the silicone case on and now I'm going to check if it would stick to the, um, what do you call it? If it'll stick to the magnet part of the iPad and if it'll um, charge with the silicone case on. I'm taking the cap off because I have this, um, here I'll show you this case on my iPad and it has this section here for the pencil so I want to see if it would fit with the silicone all right it doesn't seem to fit so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the case all right so I took the case off and I had to unplug this really quick to get the case off but that's okay let's see if it sticks to the top oh it actually works so the flat side this side is the side that clicks onto the um, iPad and it actually worked really well and I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tip back on and see how it works with the tip. All right, so it looks like it worked perfectly. It just kind of stuck right onto the top and it is connected. So I think that's awesome. I'm really happy about that. So I might use this case more than I use this hard plastic case because of that capability. But if I'm gonna be here for hours doing something, I might just switch to this one. So that's really good to know. And I know actually before I move on to the next accessories, I know you guys are going to ask about this one. So I posted this in one of um, my haul videos. I'll link a link where you can get this. I got it on AliExpress for I believe like 10 or $11. And you can use it for a phone stand or a switch stand or an iPad stand or any device. And you can um, move it around like so and adjust it and make it put it at different angles so I'm gonna put my iPad on this for now 
Hi, let's move on and take a look at the other accessories that I got. I got today, I mean today, yesterday when I got this iPad at the Apple store, I saw this really cute Apple Watch um, OtterBox cover and I had to get it because I get asked a lot of questions about the one that I have on my watch currently and it's this one. And I showed it um, in the video where I unboxed my watch and honestly, I get so many questions about it and I never want to tell you guys where I got it after that because I really hate it. Like honestly, it broke like within the first couple of days and I tried gluing it just because I like the pink look so much. And it's just given me so many problems that I'm so happy that I found this pink one. Like I think this is going to be better and I'll link this one for you guys. It was only $19.95 and I think this is going to be a much better option. So let's open this up and see how it fits on my Apple SE 40mm watch. So here's a closer look at the cover. I love how it like covers the buttons here. It's really nice, like thick, and it's got like a really like soft touch feel to it. Here's a little OtterBox logo, and I love how it has like the plastic brighter pink, and then this like very soft pink silicone. It's like the double pink thing like this here and like that, and I just, I really love it. So let's see, I think we're gonna have to remove the, um, straps sorry my watch is kind of dirty remove the straps to um put this on so i believe we just kind of put it in so i'm going to put it in like that or maybe through the front no because the front is plastic ah! and the back is softer so it has to go in through the back there we go, it just popped in really easily. I don't know why I was making that harder than it really should have been. But that's how it fits, it fits really nice. It looks really good and I'm excited. Let's go ahead and put my um, straps back on. I'm actually really excited because um, I actually just got off of FaceTime with one of my older sisters. I have five sisters. My mom had six girls, so there's six of us total which leaves me with five sisters and one brother from my mom and two brothers from my dad. So that's a pretty big family. But anyway, I was on the phone with one of my sisters and she was telling me that she custom made a new watch strap for me that's chromey. She has this like etching thing and she etched in a chromey design and she was showing me on FaceTime and it's so cute and I can't wait to get it. But anyway, yeah, in the meantime, I just have this white one. So, um, I think this otter box looks so cute on here. I honestly think that it looks even better than this pink one looked. And it's a nicer pink and it's more protective. Definitely higher quality. So I think it's really worth it. I'm really happy that I saw this in the store yesterday. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna link that for you guys. Now the other thing that I got is another Apple Watch case. And this one I had purchased maybe a week or two ago. Um, before I had seen the pink one because like I said I just I love the color of this but I really it didn't work well and I needed something new I couldn't find another pink one um, or a good brand pink one so uh, Casemate offers this clear one so this is what I got unfortunately I like the pink a lot more so I think I'm gonna be using that more but if I do like a design or something where I go with like a theme or an outfit where the pink doesn't match I'm definitely gonna use this one it's just like an ultra clear um, pink one, a uh, white. <laughs> What's wrong with me? It's just an ultra clear TPU bumper case. And yeah, it's um, thin, but it's high quality and it's clear. So I'm definitely gonna be using this for um, times where the pink doesn't match. Now the next accessory that I wanna show you guys is for my AirPods Pro. And it's also a Casemate case. This is the Twinkle case for AirPods Pro with ring clip. And it says right here with Micropel antimicrobial protection. I'm not exactly sure what that means. If you guys do, please enlighten me because I don't understand how it's antimicrobial. So here on the back, it says clip your AirPods to your bag, backpack and keychain, accessible lightning port and wireless charging compatible and it protects against drops, scuffs, and scratches. So let's open it up and take a look. All right, so here's the beautiful Twinkle 
Casemate AirPods Pro case, and I actually have the Twinkle case for my um, iPhone, and I really love it. So I'm glad to have these matching AirPods, even though I'm hoping that hopefully um, when the iPhone 13 comes out, I'll um, upgrade because right now I have the iPhone 10 S Max. I haven't upgraded in like almost three years, so I would really like to upgrade. So hopefully I'll be upgrading this year. So this is what I have my AirPods in right now. It's this cute little like kitty paw one, but I got it really dirty. Um, so I need to clean it up. So I'm going to be switching over to this one. And I'll link this kitty one if you guys like it and you want to get one for yourself. And I'll also link the um, casemate one, of course. So let's see. I think we're just going to put it in like this. And then the cover goes on like that. Yeah, that fit like really nicely. I really like the like jelly look. And I like this ring, it's really like sturdy. All right, so I think that's all for the new accessories, but I did want to really quickly try this clear one on for you guys, because I know some of you are going to be interested in clear versus pink. Alright, so here's a closer look at the clear case. It's um, rubber, like TPU, so it's really flexible, but it's also pretty strong feeling. So I'm going to go ahead and try to swap it out for this one. Swap this one out for that one. Whatever. <laughs> so I think I'm going to start by putting in this side because that's where this little button thingy is. And I feel like it's easier to put the button, the buttons that stick out in first. And then I think we just hold this and push in. So that went in pretty easily. It looks really good. It's just like you can barely even see it. It's got the Casemate logo down there. And it's just nice, clear, protective for so that you don't scratch your um, the metal on your piece. And it does have a, like a little lip. So if it were to fall, it the lip would protect the screen. That's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys so much. See you in the next one. Kitty and Jerry.